Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and we recently sold our suburban home to move to a tiny, nearly 200-year-old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. In this episode, it all starts to feel a bit more spring-like at Skylife Cottage. Richard and I finally get some decent weather for building the shed. And I take you out foraging for wild garlic. Plus, find out Sarah's reaction when I come home with a rather noisy new toy. Join us as we continue. Live in the sky. Life. It's day 10 and look at this We're outside because it's sunny, it's beautiful There's no wind, this is amazing It's a gorgeous day Four seasons and all that as you yeah, said yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get working Typical sky weather <laughs> We're over there working And Sarah's over here having a cup of tea And some toast And working are you working? I'm posting on social media. All oh, right, good stuff. <laughs> About how lovely the weather is. Lovely, cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? <laughs> There are ways of doing things, and then there are Richard's ways of doing things. Now that Richard had cut off the unwanted material from the shed with a chainsaw, he then set about nailing down a breather membrane onto the roof. It's a clever membrane that allows condensation to escape from the inside, whilst preventing any water ingress from the outside. Richard's up there putting the roofing membrane on. Doing all the work. Doing all the work while I'm in here just filming and messing around. Here we see Richard the roofer in his natural habitat. So what are you doing here for the viewers? Just getting the felt on to stop the condensation from dripping on Willie's head when he's in the shed in his man cave. <laughs> this is a cheaper option than buying corrugated iron with uh, and condensation on the underside of it adds a lot more money to the price of the tin, like you know. So, this is a cheaper option and works just as good. A bit more work in it, right enough, like, but ah, just gets it done, you know. It is a lovely sunny morning here at Skylife Cottage. We're getting a few more of them and I'm about to head into the village to go to the post office. I've got some Etsy orders to get out and I'm also going to go collect some bread. The other week you saw Willie make some bread at home which was really lovely but that was just plain white bread. For now we can't make sourdough but we really love it and there is a place in the village which makes fresh sourdough bread for you which is amazing. So you put in your order direct with them or through the local Facebook group and a couple of days later they do all the baking and you go and collect it. So that's what I'm going to go do is go get some fresh sourdough bread. There you go, I'm home with my sourdough bread. I am going to probably have some eggs for lunch with that fresh bread. I got some freshly laid eggs from the post office. One of the local crofters sells their eggs through the post office. So I got some there and I'm gonna have that on fresh sourdough toast. And maybe even a little bit of wild garlic in the butter because I found a wild garlic patch on my walk with Jack. Pretty good for local produce. Gonna have some of that for lunch and then get on with more work. Now 
that the breather membrane was secured in place, it was time to put on the corrugated and plastic coated steel sheets, or tin as Richard calls them. Hello, hello. Hiya. The man with the red gun. <laughs> So what we're doing is drilling holes for the screws. I'm, I'm drilling the holes and Richard's putting the screws in. And uh, it's a lovely day for it. I'm glad it's not raining. <laughs> yeah, for once. Right, so we're going to Tells me off. Right, so we nail the sheet down like that just to stop the bounce in it. And then that goes on like that. And then we put stitcher from the front edge. Sit in line with them, you know. Cool. And that covers that, you know. But the foam fillers will go in there and we put the stitchers in. Excellent. So I've got to do all this first before I put them top caps on me. Okay. I'll come and give you a hand now. Yeah, uh, you can bring your hammer and punch. Polish. Sound will do, man. So there I am punching the holes for the nails to go in. I should really have been using a centre punch for this, but I don't have one, so I was using a three inch nail instead, which kept bending. Not that it mattered anyway, because, well, this happened. I've been sacked. <laughs> Off you go. Go make some tea. Yeah, I'm going to get the on. That's what happens. Richard's a hard gaffer. I've been fired. You're a terrible apprentice. Yeah, I'm horrible. There's a couple of golden eagles flying over the cottage. And uh, that's the first ones we've seen. We've seen a lot of sea eagles here. But that's the first golden eagles that we've seen. This on, and the other side will get a bit of gutter on. We're leaving very close to finishing the shed now, it's getting cool. It hasn't got a floor yet. Well, yeah, I know, but that's a small detail. Minor detail. Yeah. It's very airy. Yeah, it is a bit. Which was just putting in some foam fillers, and it stops the water getting in the way. And these little stitching screws screw down, hold them in place and hold this flash in, in place as well. Here's Richard putting the last few screws in the roof. It's nearly done folks. Richard's gone for the day and he's done an amazing job today and it was great to help him again and uh, it's a Friday today so traditional Friday five o'clock chin chin cheers and now we're going to start painting the shed Well, 
been sunny all day. And as soon as we start painting, it starts raining. Cheers, Sky. <laughs> Typical. Well, it's going that way. The drops are going that way. We're painting on this surface, so yeah. it should mm. be okay. It looks like it's going to pass over. Yeah. But you sky. never know. You can't see this, but there's blue sky over there, so hopefully this will just be a little shower. And if not, well, we're wasting our time because this is yeah. water soluble paint. Yeah. have you got on your tail? What is it? What have you got? What have you... Jack? I'm not trying to pull your tail. I'm trying to get the tape off. I'll try. <laughs> Jack, come here. Should we get this off your tail, please? What's this then? Eh? That's the tape that was wrapped round. There you go. That must have gone underneath there in the wind. I haven't noticed. Nice, looking good. Look how much paint I've got, well, wood stain I've got in my hands compared to Sarah. I thought I was a messy painter, you mucky pup. Listen to that rain. I'm in the shed with this waterproof roof and no floor. It's so cool. Well, it's definitely watertight, that's for sure. I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet of the Glen before Willie comes home with his drum kit. <laughs> Willie's excited about the drum kit. I'm excited about cake. We have no idea what Jack is so excited about, but... It's, Jack. it's... Yeah, yep. standard practice for the Spaniel. I got drums. Oh my gosh. I got drums. Let's hope they're not multiplying. But I'll get it back, you watch. Sound test. Check around the house. Ready? doesn't seem to have bothered the sheep. I think if the drum kit's in the buyer, then if anyone's on the road, it'll be about this. Yay! 
Hey, Skins is in the room. This is my new drummer, Skins, folks. <laughs> She's got a long way to go. <laughs> Well, that was lots of fun, but my drums have now been relegated to the buyer until it's converted and I can play them in here. I might even set up my drum kit in that corner, who knows? See how it goes. You're joining me and Jack today on a little adventure in the woods. We're out to forage some wild garlic, or ramps as I think it's known in some places. You know it's definitely springtime when it's time to forage for wild garlic. We have a really productive spot that we used to go to in Fife, and obviously moving to Skye we didn't know any spots up here, so we've been keeping an eye out for potential places, and... I did! I was quite proud of myself actually because Willie's really the forager among us. He's been teaching me what he knows, but he usually knows all the good places to go and where to find things. But since he's been doing a lot of work on the shed and the buyer build, I'm the one that's been taking Jack out for his walks mostly. So I've had the chance to keep an eye out and I found three potential spots. Pretty excited about this. I've got my basket all ready to go and we're going to go forage some wild garlic. <laughs> Typically Jack has picked up the larger stick he could find to carry with him. Come on then. There is a bin up here and there is a little path that goes to it so I'm wondering whether there might be a spot up there. All the wild garlic spots I've seen so far have been lower down but no harm in looking. garlic here. There is a spaniel. He is a bit wild, but he's not what we're looking for. Every time, Jack. Every time. Is that not spiky? I love the gorse that you get in the Highlands of Scotland. It's just so beautiful. It's one of my favourite plants and it's one of my favourite paintings that I did last year of the gorse flowers. Really love it. All the flowers are just coming out now and even though it's misty and murky and not very nice today, they still smell of coconut, which is just amazing. So it makes you think of sunscreen and tropical holidays, even in the grey, gloomy, drizzly Scottish springtime. There's also an old saying, that when gorse is flowering, that means kissing is in season. And I think that's because gorse pretty much flowers all year round. So kissing is in season a lot. <laughs> Come on. Right, we're nearly at the first of my places that I definitely know there's wild garlic, so here's hoping there's enough to forage. Do you see it yet? 
We're going right down there. <laughs> you can smell it before you get there. Amazing smell of garlic. I think that's plenty from this location. I've probably only taken a couple of leaves from about a third of the plants that are here. So there's loads more that I haven't got to. So let's see what the next spot brings. Nice by another river for Jack Spaniels to play in while I collect wild garlic. There it is. Wow. There's even some growing on that tree base that's upturned. A wall of wild garlic. This is a great spot. I think this is the biggest spot that I've got. So I'm going to try and get a good harvest here. I'm only taking a couple of leaves from each plant and only the biggest plants because some of them are quite small still. I'll only take what we need and make sure there's plenty left if anyone else comes to forage it and also for the plants to keep growing. I'm also being really careful where I step so I don't cause too much damage to the environment. Let's get collecting. I'm not the only one who's been here. So I'm going to take that home. Where there's wild garlic, there will be a spaniel in the water. Wondering why I don't join him. That's about all I'm going to take from this spot as well. Barely even scraped the surface here, there's so many plants. I don't really need to pick them because I've got another spot to go to and that way I'm spreading out the impact on the environment in each place. So we're nearly in the third spot now for the wild garlic and this is the smallest spot I think that I found but there still should be enough plants here to take a few leaves but I won't take that much. And as usual, a very wet spaniel. If you are growing up foraging for wild garlic or anything else for that matter, please do do it responsibly. Only take what you need, leave the environment the same as you found it, or if possible, better. And of course, don't eat anything that you're not 100% sure what it is. Time for me and Jack Spaniels to get home to make some wild garlic pesto at Skylife Cottage. We will see you there. Okay, so I'm back at the cottage now. Willie's still out, he's been fishing this afternoon. A rare break from all the work on the shed and the buyer. When Willie gets back, we'll make the pesto together, but I'll just pop these leaves in the sink now for a little soak so we can wash off all the dirt. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients now for wild garlic pesto. We've got the wild garlic, we've got parmesan or similar cheese, lemons, walnuts. You can make this with pine nuts or pretty much any kind of nut, but we like walnuts for the flavor and also because they're a bit cheaper. And I've got some olive oil. We're gonna chop and toast the walnuts. We're gonna chop up the Parmesan cheese into small bits and we're gonna juice the lemons. That's what's coming next. Walnuts, toast them and it tastes nicer. It just makes them sweeter and gives them a sort of toasted flavor rather than just the sort of bitterness that you get from walnuts. So give them like 10 minutes in a pretty low heat. Jack wants the cheese, the sheep just wants grass outside the window.
So in the blender goes a handful of wild garlic, making a complete mess in the process. And parmesan, to lemon juice. I'm afraid we don't really have measurements in this house because we just wing it and then see what it tastes like and then add more of whatever we need. Now we've got the wild garlic leaves, parmesan and lemon juice in there. We're gonna put some olive oil in because that kind of binds it all together. And then we need some walnuts and we need some salt. We'll give that a blitz and then we'll give it a taste and see if it needs anything else. Okay, it looks good, but we can put a lot more in there, so let's do that. We like it pretty strong, so mm. lots of wild garlic leaves. What's the point of having wild garlic paste that it doesn't taste strongly of wild <laughs> garlic? Also, that's the free ingredient. <laughs> yeah, true. Hey, pesto! Let's try it. It is very green. A luminous green. What did you call it for? Livid. Livid green. <laughs> chin chin. Hey, pesto. Hey, pesto. You, he does that joke every year. Wild. It tastes like wildness and garlic. It tastes like springtime. Mm. No vampires at Skyline Cottage tonight. Mm -hmm. No vampires here. <laughs> if the vampire came in the door, they'd be like, actually, you know what? Don't want to come in. Goodbye, okay, guys. You're all right. <laughs> weeks of garlic in there. folks thank you so much for watching our video we really do appreciate it and we hope you enjoyed it if you did and you haven't already please do give it a like leave us a comment or subscribe to our channel it's free to do and it really helps us out also if you wanted to you can buy us a coffee over on Kofi. it helps with the running of the channel you can also buy jack a treat there as well if you wanted to or if you want to help out more long term you can become one of our amazing patrons over on patreon over there you get loads of bonus content for helping us out every month all the links to these pages are in the video description hello once again, thanks for watching, and we will see you bar, bar, la, da, da, next, next week. week. <laughs> Why do you make me do these things? It's funny. And people love it. We're leaving our suburban life, moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Sky life. Is you? Is it me? Yes. Okay. We've got an audience. Oh, yeah, we've got an audience of sheep. <laughs> Hi guys. What day is it now? Ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. Ten. Isn't it? I don't know. Three and three. Willie's really the fodger. <clears throat> the fodger. Once again, thanks for watching and. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's recording it. You're shouting at me. Yeah, I'm the one that's usually flipping and blinding all over the place. This is why we always film in time lapse. Are you going to give me a hand? No, I'm just going to film it. Jack attack. Again. Jack's doing his crazy dog thing because he's all wet. You know, a very wet dog. You got the zoomies, mister. You had the zoomies. So I'm toasting the walnuts to give them a nice... Oh, I got your pyjamas in it. Oh, it doesn't matter. My pyjamas are fine. I mean, it's Sunday. It's Sunday evening. It's Sunday evening. I'm in my pyjamas, all right? People are in their pyjamas on Sunday evening, even the YouTubers. Anyway. in the face with a drumstick. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'll probably have to go in the blue burial that bad. Once again, thanks for watching. <laughs>